The Byzantine Empire was one of the most powerful and influential empires in the history of the world. It was founded in the 4th century AD, and it lasted for over a thousand years. During its long and illustrious history, the Byzantine Empire played a major role in shaping the course of European and Middle Eastern history. The Byzantine Empire was founded by the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great in 324 AD. Constantine was a visionary leader who recognized the strategic importance of the city of Byzantium, which he renamed Constantinople. He made it the capital of the Roman Empire and transformed it into a magnificent city that was the envy of the world. Under the rule of Constantine and his successors, the Byzantine Empire became a major center of trade, culture, and learning. It was a melting pot of different cultures and religions, and it was renowned for its art, architecture, and literature. The Byzantine Empire was also a major military power. Its armies were among the most formidable in the world, and they were able to repel invasions from barbarian tribes and rival empires. The Byzantine Empire was able to maintain its dominance for centuries, thanks to its strong economy, powerful military, and effective governance. However, the Byzantine Empire was not immune to the forces of history. Over time, it faced a number of challenges that would ultimately lead to its downfall. These challenges included internal conflicts, external threats, and economic decline. In the next segment of this video, we will explore the internal conflicts that plagued the Byzantine Empire and contributed to its decline. The internal conflicts that plagued the Byzantine Empire were one of the major factors that contributed to its decline. These conflicts were often fueled by religious differences, political rivalries, and economic interests. One of the most significant internal conflicts was the Great Schism of 1054. This was a split between the Eastern Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church, which had been united under the Christian faith for centuries. The split was caused by a number of theological and political differences, and it had a profound impact on the Byzantine Empire. It weakened the unity of the empire and made it more vulnerable to external threats. Another major internal conflict was the struggle for power between the aristocracy and the imperial family. The aristocracy was made up of wealthy landowners and powerful military leaders who often challenged the authority of the emperor. This led to a series of power struggles and civil wars that weakened the empire and undermined its stability. The Byzantine Empire also faced economic challenges that contributed to its decline. One of the main problems was the decline of trade and commerce. The empire's economy was heavily dependent on trade with other regions, but as the Mediterranean world changed, the Byzantine Empire found itself cut off from many of its traditional trading partners. This led to a decline in wealth and prosperity, which made it more difficult for the empire to maintain its military and political power. In addition to these internal conflicts, the Byzantine Empire also faced external threats from rival empires and barbarian tribes. These threats included invasions from the Seljuk Turks, the Crusaders, and the Ottoman Turks. The Byzantine Empire was able to repel many of these invasions, but they took a toll on the empire's resources and weakened its military. In the next segment of this video, we will explore the external threats that the Byzantine Empire faced and how they contributed to its decline. The Byzantine Empire faced a number of external threats that contributed to its decline. These threats came from rival empires, barbarian tribes, and religious conflicts. One of the most significant external threats came from the Seljuk Turks, who invaded the Byzantine Empire in the 11th century. The Seljuk Turks were a powerful and aggressive tribe that had conquered much of the Middle East and Central Asia. They were determined to expand their empire, and they saw the Byzantine Empire as a prime target. The Seljuk Turks launched a series of devastating attacks on the Byzantine Empire, which weakened its military and undermined its stability. The Byzantine Empire was able to repel many of these attacks, but it was never able to fully recover from the damage that was done. Another major external threat came from the Crusaders, who invaded the Byzantine Empire in the 12th century. The Crusaders were a Christian army that was sent to the Middle East to reclaim the Holy Land from the Muslims. However, they also saw the Byzantine Empire as a potential ally or enemy, depending on their interests. The Crusaders launched a series of attacks on the Byzantine Empire, which weakened its military and undermined its stability. The Byzantine Empire was able to repel many of these attacks, but it was never able to fully recover from the damage that was done. The Byzantine Empire also faced external threats from the Ottoman Turks, who invaded the empire in the 14th century. The Ottoman Turks were a powerful and aggressive tribe that had conquered much of the Middle East and Eastern Europe. They were determined to expand their empire, and they saw the Byzantine Empire as a prime target. The Ottoman Turks launched a series of devastating attacks on the Byzantine Empire, which weakened its military and undermined its stability. The Byzantine Empire was able to repel many of these attacks, but it was never able to fully recover from the damage that was done. In the next segment of this video, we will explore the final years of the Byzantine Empire and how it ultimately fell. The final years of the Byzantine Empire were marked by a series of crises that ultimately led to its downfall. 
These crises were caused by a combination of internal conflicts, external threats, and economic decline. One of the major crises was the Fourth Crusade, which was launched in 1202. The Crusaders were supposed to be going to the Holy Land, but instead, they attacked and sacked Constantinople, the capital of the Byzantine Empire. This weakened the empire and left it vulnerable to further attacks. Another crisis was the rise of the Ottoman Empire, which was a powerful and aggressive empire that was determined to conquer the Byzantine Empire. The Ottomans launched a series of devastating attacks on the Byzantine Empire, which weakened its military and undermined its stability. The Byzantine Empire also faced economic challenges that contributed to its decline. One of the main problems was the decline of trade and commerce. The empire's economy was heavily dependent on trade with other regions, but as the Mediterranean world changed, the Byzantine Empire found itself cut off from many of its traditional trading partners. This led to a decline in wealth and prosperity, which made it more difficult for the empire to maintain its military and political power. The final crisis that led to the downfall of the Byzantine Empire was the fall of Constantinople in 1453. The Ottomans launched a massive attack on the city, and after a long and bloody siege, they were able to breach the walls and capture the city. This marked the end of the Byzantine Empire and the beginning of a new era in world history. Despite its downfall, the Byzantine Empire left a lasting legacy on the world. Its art, architecture and literature continue to inspire and influence people today. Its military tactics and strategies were studied and emulated by other empires, and its political and cultural achievements continue to be celebrated and admired. In the final segment of this video, we will explore the legacy of the Byzantine Empire and its impact in the world. The Byzantine Empire had a profound impact on the world, and its legacy can still be felt today. Its art, architecture, and literature continue to inspire and influence people around the world. One of the most significant contributions of the Byzantine Empire was its preservation of ancient Greek and Roman culture. The Byzantines were avid collectors and preservers of ancient texts, and they translated and copied many of the great works of Greek and Roman literature. This helped to preserve these works for future generations and ensured that they would continue to be studied and appreciated. The Byzantine Empire also had a significant impact on the development of Christianity. The Eastern Orthodox Church, which was based in Constantinople, became one of the most influential Christian churches in the world. Its teachings and practices continue to be followed by millions of people today. The Byzantine Empire also had a significant impact on the development of military tactics and strategies. Its armies were among the most formidable in the world, and they developed a number of innovative tactics and strategies that were studied and emulated by other empires. Despite its many achievements, the Byzantine Empire ultimately fell to a combination of internal conflicts, external threats, and economic decline. However, its legacy lives on, and its contributions to the world continue to be celebrated and admired. In conclusion, the Byzantine Empire was one of the most powerful and influential empires in the history of the world. Its long and illustrious history was marked by great achievements and significant challenges. Although it ultimately fell, its legacy continues to inspire and influence people around the world.